right, as promised, uh, I'm going to go over the lesson that we did today in class uh, for Mode Ani. I'm going to teach you the melody that we use most of the time at Congregation Beth Israel in Walla Walla. Also, this page here is from the Sidur Mishkan Tefila Shabbat, which is the Reform Sidur, the Four Movements Sidur for Shabbat, and it's the Sidur that we use at CBI Walla Walla. So first, let me sing the melody for you. I'm going to sing Mode Ani, but if you're a woman or a girl or a femme, you might want to sing Moda Ani, because Moda is the feminine form. Mode ani lefanecha, melechai vekayam, shehezarta bi nishmati, bechem la raba emunatecha. Mode ani lefanecha, mode. Ani le fanecha, mode ani le fanecha, melechai vekaya, shehezarta bi nishmati, bechem la raba emunatecha. All right, so let's break this prayer down. Uh, and look at all of the words. So this first section here, mode or moda, means give thanks or to thank. If you've learned any Hebrew at all, you might have already learned the word toda, toda, which means thank you. Whoops. That hey is a little wonky. Toda means thank you. Uh, if you wanted to say thank you very much, you could say toda raba. So toda is just thank you, but the act of giving thanks, like I thank you, is the verb mode or moda. This is in the present tense, masculine or feminine. If you were going to say it in the plural, like we do in the prayer modim anachnulach inside of the amida modim is the masculine plural it's also used for mixed gender plural but if it was a group of all women together that were saying the prayers they might say modot anachnulach the plural feminine modot so mode give thanks Ani, I. So you put those together. I give thanks. Uh, next we have, hold on, let me fix this. All right, so give thanks, I. So now we've got this word, lefanecha. Lefanecha, it's got a bunch of different pieces. So first, first piece is the prefix, what I call a short word which means to. L means to. And then we've got panim. Panim means face. Panim. Boop, boop. Panim means face. But it's lefanecha, this ha at the end. That's a chaf sofit. That a suffix means your or yours masculine. So in order to have this suffix here, we get rid of that mem sofit and we turn this into panecha. Le fanecha. So literally, to your face. In your face, to your face. But that doesn't really make sense in English. 
in English, we translate this as in front of you. Whoops, I can write, really I can. In front of you or before you. So I'll put here before you. And then, um, all right, so lefanecha, before you. The next word here is melech, which is king. And then we have chai, which means life or living. Living. And ve kayam, ve, whoops, ve is one of those prefix short words. It means and, and kayam means existing. So, and existing. So, living and existing God. Now, let's come back here and erase this. Uh, now, the next word we've got, Shehechezarta. This is a long word, right? Shehechezarta. It's a bunch of different pieces. So, I know it seems like a big thing, but we're going to break it all down. The first part here is a prefix, she, whoops, I'm still in white, she is that. It's a prefix that means that. It's actually short for the word a share. A share. And I'm not sure if I've got the uh, vowels right on that, but I think that's correct. A share, the short version is a prefix, she, which means that. Now we've got the root of this word is chazar. Chazar, which means to return. Return. So that hechazar tells us that it's like a causative form. So to cause to be returned. So it's not that I'm returning, but somebody else is returning something to me or causing something to be returned to me. And the ta here at the end is the masculine uh, you. So this is in the past tense, masculine. Um, that, I'm going to write it actually down here rather than writing it up there because there's not a lot of room. That you returned. Oops, you can't see that because it's behind my picture. Let me write it. Let me write it over here so that you can see it. Um, that... You returned. So I'll put a little asterisk right here. Put an asterisk right there so you know that that's what that means. All right, the next word is B. So B is a prefix that means in. And the E is a suffix that means me, my. So in this case, it means in me. So in me. All right. So now let's erase all this. Boop. And keep going. So the next word is nishmati. 
So nishmati comes from neshama. Neshama is one of the types of souls in Jewish tradition. Neshama. And the root for this word is also a word that means breath. Um, so like your breath is also your soul. So neshama. But because we've got neshama and we've got the E, remember that E at the ending means mine. So we want to put that suffix on here, but we don't say nishma E. We have to turn this hey into a tough, and then we get nishma T. So it's my soul. And then now we're down to Bechemla. Bechemla. So what is Bechemla? Be is that, um, that prefix again. What does that prefix be mean? It means in. And Chemla means mercy or compassion. So bechemla together means in mercy or in compassion. So let's write that down. In, I'm going to write in mercy because it's shorter, but you know that it's in mercy or in compassion. Now this word raba, raba means, so I'm going to put it right here. Raba means much, much or a lot, or great. And then this final word here, emunatecha, starts with the word emuna. E -mu -na. E -mu Na. So, emuna is like uh, faith or trust. It can also be like faithfulness or trustworthiness. It can also be something like belief. There's not a precise translation of emuna into English because it kind of means all of these things. And as you see it come up again and again in prayers, uh, you'll start to get more of a feeling for what this version of the word faith means. But in this particular case, um, we're talking about somebody's faithfulness or somebody's trustworthiness. Whose is it? Well, we've got that ha suffix again. And that ha suffix means boop means your, you or your masculine. So great is your trust or your, you have a lot of trust, trustworthiness. So let's put it all together. I give thanks before you, living and existing king, that you returned to me my soul in mercy. Your faithfulness is great. So I'll sing it one more time. Let me take away the notes so you just see the music. Mode ani lefanecha, melecha vekayam. Shehezarza binishmati Bechemla Raba Emunatecha Mode Ani Lefanecha Mode 
אני לפניך, מודה אני לפניך, מלך חי וקיים, שהחזרת בי נשמעתי, בחמלה רבה אמונתך. This is the first prayer that we sing in the morning in Jewish tradition. Some people, as soon as they wake up, as soon as they sit up in their bed, they say this prayer. And this is also the very first prayer that we have in the Sidur, in the Shacharit, in the morning service, whether on a weekday or on Shabbat. So it's a very important prayer to learn and to remember. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.